Right, this is a crucible that I've made, but it's not yet been fired. But it's uh, being kept dry in an airing cupboard. This is one I've been using for melting brass. Um, it did start to deteriorate, and if you listen, it's obviously cracked. So I, I broke a piece off just to see how strong it was. It is still quite strong, um, but uh, that's had quite a few firings, probably about five firings. And this is exactly the same uh, with five firings, still intact, and uh, still rings. So have a look in that. I don't know what I've had in it. Uh, that's uh, white and chalky, but uh, yeah, it's uh, still good. I melt some uh, really awful uh, brass and uh, it's got a lot of trash in it, dross in it. Um, but you know, the, uh, the crucibles take quite a bit of hammer. They are quite strong, although you can tell that one's gone. Um, I just use that for um, just holding uh, some of my ceramic shells when I when I want to uh, cast into them. It, it's uh, heat proof, uh, but uh, I don't actually use it for uh, melting pouring metal. Yeah, so there they are. Uh, crucibles that have been used and fired, and a crucible that's uh, ready to be fired. And this bad boy is my A16 uh, crucible waiting to be fired. It's uh, all nicely dried out. Um, no major defects. And uh, yes, yeah, so we can't wait to get that fired and uh, glazed and, and in use. That holds three litres of uh, total, three litres of uh, uh, capacity.